doing a Priceline haul for you because Priceline was having 40% off the other day and I went really crazy in there. I bought a ton of stuff, spent way more money than I should have, but let me just show you what I got. So firstly, I got this really cute shower cap and it's like the best quality shower caps ever because, you know, usually shower caps are like plasticky and really cheap looking. So this one looks really nice and it has a cute ribbon and you know, so I thought it was really good and it should last me for quite a while. Next, I got this eye mask and I've been looking for an eye mask for quite a while and I just thought this one was really pretty and it's really squishy so I think it's really comfortable and it comes in this plastic pouch which is really good so it keeps it hygienic and everything so it's great for travelling because I'll be going to Melbourne in a couple days so I was looking for some stuff for my trip so I got this. Another thing that I got for my trip was this mini razor and I've seen this around uh, on YouTube and I really like the fact that the razor is a regular size plate and it's awesome because it comes with a container which makes it mean it'll be very hygienic and it's really easy to pack so this one seems really great. Next I just got some makeup wipes because I've been needing makeup wipes and I use makeup wipes every day to just wipe my face down when it feels grimy or to remove makeup. So this one is um, an exfoliating one. It has um, built-in micro bits so it should be great. It says that um, it's great for uh, giving a deep clean and it's supposed to remove makeup and impurities so but I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully I like it. Next I got this pack of false nails and I've never really been a fan of false nails but I thought I'd try this one out because it's supposed to be shorter so like a natural nail length and it's supposed to be much thinner so it should fit better and look much more realistic. For more nail stuff I got this. Um, it's just a small thing that I picked up uh, at the checkout line and it's by a brand called Beauty Essentials and it's just really cute grey nail polish and I what attracted me was really actually the packaging because it has rose gold and polka dots and I wish the bottle actually was packaged like that, not just the exterior. But um, yeah, so I don't own any grey nail polish at the moment so this is a really nice one, it has a hint of blue in it. Lastly for nails, I got this top coat and I've been using this top coat for almost two years now and it's my favourite top coat. It never fails me, it dries really quickly and if you have any smudges or any dings on your nail polish, I find that this straightens it out and it gives a really good shine. If you are looking for a good top coat, you may want to try this one out. The Sally Hansen's Mega Shine. So for makeup, I got a new foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match and I used the... One of the first foundations that I ever tried out was the Laurel True Match, but at that time I used I bought a wrong shade for myself, so unfortunately I didn't use it for very long. But I really liked the formula back then, so I decided to try it out again. So I got one, and I think this one is a much better match for me. I like how it's really blendable, and the formula is really, um, really smooth and kind of like liquid-like. So. It's a really good one if you want um, for a natural foundation and you can easily build it up for medium to full coverage. So I picked up two eyeshadow quads from Models Prefer because like I said they were having 40% off all their makeup products. These were originally $10 and so I got them for I think $6. I got one in Hook Me Up which is this really shimmery palette. The colors are kind of like sparkly and a bit shimmery, so I thought it's a good quad to use, you know, if you have a party. And the next quad I got is a bit more natural. It's this one. It has a bit more brown tones and a taupe color for the lid shade. And this one's called Espresso Yourself, which is a really cute pun. I just thought that, you know, if I don't know what to do with my eyes that day, I just pick up this quad and it says, you know, base, lid, um, crease and corner, so it just tells you what to do basically. So you don't have to think about how you want to do your eye. And I also picked up this eyeshadow from Essence and it's this India Tree D eyeshadow collection and it's really gorgeous pink and bronzy taupe colour. It's called Zero Four Iris Irresistible Caramel Cream and I don't know, I just feel like the colour is so gorgeous that you can create a whole eye look just with these two colours. I also picked up a blush from Essence because I really love how their blush formula is. It's really always very smooth and very pigmented so it's really great. So I got this one which 
I think it's a really good match for my skin tone and it's a good everyday blush. And so this one is called Kissable, so it's really pretty and I look forward to using it. Lastly, I got this Max Factor mascara and it's their Masterpiece Max and I've been looking to get a new mascara since the ones I've been using has since the one I've been using it has been for about 3 months already so it's about time to change so I decided to try this one out it says that it defines and volume for up to 400% more volume which I don't really believe but um, if it gives more volume then I'm, you know, I want to try it out and I've heard Max Factor mascaras are really good so I picked this one and for my haul and I'm thinking of doing a makeup look for with all the makeup that I got and so do subscribe if you would like to see that I'll see you next time. Bye!